The grid view provides built-in column header menus where you can select the best fit option that adjusts column's width to completely display its content. The same can be achieved by double-clicking a column's right edge. To adjust all columns at once, use the best fit all columns option from the column header menu. The same menus are available at design time, but the mentioned menu items or header edge double click will have no effect since data isn't loaded. To work around this, you'll need to open the grid's designer dialog and switch to the layout page. This is where you can preload data and then apply best fit width to columns. By default, when you apply best fit width to a column, the view checks values in all rows. This might have an unnecessary impact on performance with larger data sources. To limit the number of records the grid view scans, use the best fit max row count property under options view. In our example, let's set it to three and apply best fit width again to see that the result in fact differs. Note that if you disable column resizing, the best fit option gets disabled too, both via the context menu or via double clicking a column header's right edge. You can restore default values for all changed options and set a column's fixed width option. This means that the corresponding column will keep its width when you apply the best fit feature to the view. Let's add three buttons to the UI to see how you can use this feature in code. One button will call the grid view's best fit columns method that affect all columns. The second uses a column's best fit method to apply the feature to an individual column. The third way gives you the most flexibility since you can calculate the width using the get best width method and then adjust the value before actually applying the change to a column. You can now run the application and see how all three methods work at runtime.